funny laughing at my haters like you dummies the night is young girl what can you do for me six figures five shows big balling look i'm very important i took a break had some things i had to get sorted i might retire in my prime like i'm m jordan table dancing in southampton Hey everybody, it's the coach. Welcome to the special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, we've got a good one between the Buffalo Bills and the Tennessee Titans. With that, let's get you up to Nashville and Nissan Stadium for the call. We welcome in our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We welcome all of you to Nissan Stadium on the banks of the Cumberland River in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. The whole of downtown Nashville likely still reverberating with the sounds of the Titans taking the field a moment ago. They're ready for football as their Titans are set to match up with the Buffalo Bills. Up in the booth with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and kick off straight ahead, CD. What's one thing that you're going to have your eye on? I think about what the great coaches of the past always said, the key to any ball game. Can you rush theirs and protect yours? Well, in this case, both of these teams get after the quarterbacks. I'm watching the pass rush. On the return, here's Marcus Murphy. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. Commanding the offense will be the seventh overall pick of the 2018 draft. It's Josh Allen. How about 54 touchdown passes in two full seasons at the University of Wyoming? Coming out of a junior college, I think he exceeded expectations. And he can move it around a little bit, too. A much better athlete than people give him credit for. play action here on first down and his first look is incomplete trying to get it to clay that time and that'll bring up second down quickly now here's the buffalo offense in the nfl we love to talk about bloodlines and how important they can be and for zay jones he's got a terrific one his dad robert longtime linebacker in the nfl big time with the dallas cowboys and his uncle jeff blake a starting quarterback in the nfl at one point what if he played catch with Uncle Jeff in the backyard a few times growing up? Well, once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Now let's go! Allen off the play fake. That is incomplete. Charles Clay is tied in the intended target, and it's third down. And the big meet on the D-line. We'll see how they do today. And I'd hate to be an offensive lineman having to deal with these guys. They come in hungry, mean, and confident. They think that no one can block them. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Flushed out right. He may try and run for this. Holding offense. Well, that's a good chunk of yardage. It's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books, but now they have to make that up again, don't they? And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. Here we go now. From the gun, it's Allen. And that will be incomplete as well. Good coverage that time by Malcolm Butler. So they looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. Oh 
this one fourth down. Here's Matt Gar to kick it away. He'll send this up into the Nashville skyline, and it's a good one. Here's Jackson. A good return there, 17 yards, and it'll be Titan football. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time as we take a peek at their versatile quarterback, the Hawaii native and former Oregon Duck, Marcus Mariota. And he's definitely a defensive coordinator and a defense's nightmare because his 4-5 speed allows him to break out of a pocket and hurt a team with his legs running downfield. But he really keeps his eyes downfield and wants to throw the football first puts a defense in a heck of a spot. Do you go after it or do you fall back? Either way, he wins. Mariota and the Titans break the huddle first and 10 at their own 43. From the gun, Mariota going underneath for Lewis. He had a great move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. Call it a gain of five, and it'll make it second down. And this O-line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They establish the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. On the ground, this is Derrick Henry. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. Quickly now, a look at the Buffalo defense. And Lorenzo Alexander is the ultimate chameleon in the NFL. Has reshaped his body to play different positions. Fullback, defensive tackle, defensive end, outside linebacker, special teamer. He's done it all. And now he's reaping the benefits. Fully entrenched as an outside linebacker in the NFL. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. He needed a yard, that's what he got, and it's going to earn him a new set of downs. We ought to come up with a t-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulders square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely, picked his lane, went with it, and converted. Play action to Henry. Here's Mariota. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. On second down, here's Henry. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Tackle made there by Jordan Poyer. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. And that is incomplete. So it looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. Back deep, Isaiah McKenzie. Bills. 
Bills. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Here's Chris Ivory with his first carry. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. Bringing him down defensively, Jayon Brown. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got him pinned down deep. And on the first play, they gave up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection. Maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you're wondering, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Green. Here's Allen on first and 10. Flush to his right. Allen, nifty footwork. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off. Second and short. second down it's complete to his tight end Charles Clay and he'll get to the 29 yard line brought down there first time that they called his number tonight and it gets him a first down one of the advantages of zone defense as I remember it is being able to see the play develop in front of you one of the disadvantages when they find those levels where they can hit you with it sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety it makes it tough to defend now on first down looking downfield for Jones so they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect I'm sure that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield but that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit and they may have to change accordingly here's second and ten now from the 29 Here's the first carry for LaShawn McCoy. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. A nickel set shown by the Titans on third down. They can pass. Let's go! 3-19! 3-19! And before they can get settled in here, time expires. On the first quarter of action. Nothing, nothing, our score. We're back to Nashville right after this. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter about to get underway with the Bills in position. They never have a 
third and long coming up. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. Here's Matt Dar now as he's on to punt for Buffalo. A big boot that time, 57 yards the official distance. And the Titans will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and 10. The Titan offense now working their way back onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Hey, three, two, one. First down, Mariota. Throw right side, caught by Davis. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. and 10. Here's Mariota. And he'll hit his tight end, Walker. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. I know when you got a top tight end like this, you want to get him involved, but when you do, you're hoping for more than that. You certainly are. You've got to try and get him some space where he can make a play downfield or at least an opportunity some back yardage, right? That run after catch. got a yard out of that last completion and that makes this second and nine working out of the gun Mariota Walker with a grab left side and he's able to take this one up to the 35 yard line the reception good for seven it's third down that's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Mariota gives to Henry. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. I know they want to go for it here, and I know that their fans want them to go for it, but listen, I'm going to play head coach right here and look at the facts. Tie game, plus, even if you get the first, you still got a half a field to go. I go ahead and punt the football myself. Here's Brett Kern now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. The Bills offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, 
Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? They'll start on the ground with McCoy. And he is out of bounds up past the 10. They needed some breathing room. He gave it to him. 11 yards and a first down. Partner, I think that play echoed a short yardage run. I know they're back to miss their own goal line, but when they stack the defensive line like that, if you find any type of a crease, you're up to the third level before you know it. Out from the shadows of their goal line, here's first and 10 from the 11. Here we go now. And they'll keep it on the ground with McCoy. And he finds enough of an opening to get this one back up to his 20. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guy carries the one in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. Second down, Ivory. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Tackle made by Brian Arakpo. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Try and run for it with McCoy. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. Just outside his own goal line. Two minutes remain in a scoreless first half. Back to Tennessee after this. A reminder coming up at halftime, we'll check in with our Jonathan Coachman. He'll have highlights and analysis of the first half, and our highlights will likely be on the defensive side of the football here. Scoreless game. Here's Matt Dar now, as he's on to punt for Buffalo. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And then he goes with a juke. 12 yards on the return that time. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50, first and 10. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not put the ball again. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten. Mariota dumps it off to Lewis. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. An ideal beginning of the drive there. 
as they'll get 20 and a first down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Mariota on first down. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. One of his main targets, Delaney Walker, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new-school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. Mariota. And oh, look at that, a diving catch. A really nice gain of 25 yards. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around to make a play on the football. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. The first red zone opportunity for the Titans. This is first and goal from about the eight. To the air again, Mariota. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. They'll throw again. Mariota. Now he's got it. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. And welcome back. The offensive unit, they took the timeout. And now they get set to line up as we resume action. The Titans on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and goal. Try to punch it in with Henry. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Derrick Henry, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Titans are able to strike for six. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second. Ryan suck up on for the point after. Extra point put through by Suckup, and it's now a 7 0 game. So the drive there took six plays, and Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run.
Now here's Suck about to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23 yard line. Out comes Zay Jones with the rest of his offense as they take the field. Looking down at the stats here, realizing he has no catches. They targeted him twice, but no catches. So how do they get him more involved, Charles? You make sure he touches it on routes that he likes to run. Maybe even run a reverse or some type of a jet sweep so he gets his hands on the ball and get him active and involved in the game. You just try and find ways to get him going. And it doesn't have to be something that's big downfield. Maybe kind of like in basketball, just a shooter seeing the ball go through. You get him a rep, get him more comfortable. I agree with that totally. Maybe set that solid screen and give him an easy look. Well, to this point, no catches. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's McKenzie. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gunn alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes the timeout. And now we're set to get going. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. carry here for McCoy and he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47 now before the second down play we'll get whistles and a timeout as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half so the offense takes the timeout and they are back out and ready to rock down it's McCoy and he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49 it's a gain of four there and it gives him a new set of downs they'll run it now out of the gun and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain and before the second down play we'll get a whistle a signal and a timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. and We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. throw with Allen and he'll check this one down to McCoy and oh he's going to be brought down by the face mask here come the flags this is going to get him a first down personal foul face mask defense So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Next first down. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. On the right hand, it's a 43-yard attempt. And Hauschka's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know 
then they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. Now after the made field goal, Hauschka back out onto the field to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. play of the first half, barring a penalty as they come up on first and ten. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we've reached halftime here in Nashville, the Music City, with the Titans out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Titans hold the lead, and they'll get the football first as the third quarter gets underway. This will be taken in at the one. And a good effort on the return there. Gets them across the 30 to the 33-yard line. And the Titans getting set to go. They have the lead now. They'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers or counters, as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Second half begins with a run by Henry. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Mariota now on second down. Incomplete. Tajay Sharp, the intended receiver. And it's third down. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? On third down, Mariota. And complete to the tight end Walker, right side. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. Here's Brett Kern now as he's on to punt for Buffalo. Buffalo. 
So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up at the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? <laughs> and I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back for the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? The last part, we have to find out that's going to happen. But the first part worked to perfection. Did exactly what they wanted, and now the offense has to pay it. The last They'll try and get the running game going with McCoy. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. Down. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. Now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Let's go! Blue landing. Throwing on first down is Allen. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was looking for Charles Clay as tight end. And that'll bring up second down. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball. And we see yet another Aaron throw as a result. Well, once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Set! 319! 319! They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. On third down, here's McCoy. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards that time, and a Bills first down. So that's what that elbow in my ribs was all about. You thought they were going to throw the ball as well. Absolutely. I think everybody thought they were throwing the football. Caught them off guard. Yeah, I'm telling you, when you have the courage to make that type of a play call, a lot of times you actually get rewarded. So after the run by McCoy, here's another first and ten. This give is to McCoy. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. Rashawn Evans out of Alabama had the tackle defensively. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. three and now it's third down every year i go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays they run like dbs and let's face it, they know how to finish plays too eyes up head up run right through them. the bills on third down they've only converted once in four tries this is third and ten Everyone's got four. Four Here we go now. to throw it's allen they set up the screen to Ivory. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 12 yards that time and a Bills first down. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. On 
first down. This is Ivory. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. to throw on second down over the middle complete it's McKenzie and he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46 six yards is the pickup and that'll lead to a third down in today's football where receivers break tackles make people miss <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot that's a big time play by the defense. So they need six yards here on third down. They're two for two on third down tries so far on this drive. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this again? Encroachment defense. So a jump there defensively. That's a killer. Watch the football. Still third down. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. They only need a yard here. Third down and one after the penalty. Set, three, 19. After the penalty, it's McCoy. And it's a big play there on third down, but with the marker on the field, I don't think it's going to hold. Let's see. Illegal block in the back. Offense. A little costly there. You wipe out the first down, you also move further back. No doubt about it. So you went from moving the sticks to them staying in the same spot, except for that one guy carrying the yard marker. He moves back farther. Hurry up, here we go. Three, nine. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Nashville. The Bills have the football, but they trail here as we begin quarter number four. NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Hurry up, here we go. Blue landing. Blue landing. Allen from the gun on third down. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that one incomplete. Had some position, but couldn't hold on, and it brings up fourth down. There's definitely contact there, but it's the fourth quarter of a kind of tight game, and sometimes the officials just say, let them play. Kind of like your mom used to, you and your brothers, just take the broom to you and send you out to the backyard and tell you to settle <laughs> yourselves. I like that, yeah. There was contact. I don't know, like you said, enough to warrant the flag. It was close, though. 
One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Here we go now. One final try here for Allen. It's caught. Jones. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it. But in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. Fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and ten. Here we go now. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. To the sideline. And look at that catch. Dragging the toes. And that's going to be a first down. Well done. The Bills passing game. Getting them down the field. They've got another first down. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. Finally, a first red zone opportunity for these guys. They've got a first and 10 at the 11. Hurry up, hurry up. They give it to Ivory. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Flags will come in. One of the Bills got going a little early. False start. Offense. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. It's Ivory looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it brings forth a third and long. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Third and long, it's Allen escaping the pressure right. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. And they had an extra defensive back on the field on that play, and the coverage was excellent. He tried to pull it down and run for it, but they rallied to him and kept him short of a first down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. And Hauschka's kick is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. Now after the main field goal, Hauschka back out onto the field to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out come the Titans now. A little less than four minutes remaining, and the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. Remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's up on the clock. 
What they need to do is play a little bit of keep away right now. Run the clock down. Make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball back. Their dream scenario, get enough first downs and make them yeet up their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down with the football. Mariota and the Titans break the huddle first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and choose some clock with Henry. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. A first down carry for Henry. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Second and 12, and you'd have to assume another all-out effort to stop the run is coming. They'll run it again with Henry. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. The Titans on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and 11. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. Here's Brett Kern now. He's been terrific so far.
And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. And the Bills getting set to go. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. You <laughs> put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Toe <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> to throw and he can't get a throw off he's taken down what a huge play at this point in the game Daquan Jones in there to drop him as the clock continues to roll back to throw and he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera I love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. So now it's fourth down in short. And whatever they do, run or pass it, they've got to pick up the first here. Yeah, and you mentioned running it. That is still an option. But as you've also said, they've got to do it quickly and get back to the line of scrimmage. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They'll go with McCoy. And an alley to run. And they're going to have this all the way down deep into Tennessee territory. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. And with the clock ticking under 50 seconds now, he spikes it. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Hurry up, here we go. He's going to get it running right. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at 12. He lost two there. And it's third down. Ivory. And here he'll get it down to the seventh. It'll be a gain of five, but they're still left with a long fourth and goal. Another stop on third down, and this defense still has a lot of touchdown to this point. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. Two for two tonight. This will be for the win. And this one is good. Steven Hauschka delivering in the clutch. And the Bills are going to get out of here winners. Well, Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium. That certainly applied here, didn't it? And that almost felt like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football. Low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? You I loved did. the defense. I certainly did. Brought back the images of the game of old. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. From Nashville, good night, everybody.